Fabian Ruiz to Paris Saint-Germain. Here we go. So a lot of people have asked about the new possible signing, which is pro pretty much confirmed. Fabian Ruiz to Paris Saint-Germain. And a lot of people have asked a little bit about his profile and how he will fit in at Paris Saint-Germain. So let's get straight into this. So Fabian Ruiz, central midfielder, currently playing at Napoli in Serie A, Spanish. Uh, and uh, he was previously linked with uh, clubs like Real Madrid, Manchester United and FC Barcelona. Place of birth is Spain, origin is Spain, age 26 year old, height 189 centimeters. So this is the player that PSG were looking for in that midfield, a height, because we lack that in our midfield. I mean, Vitinha short, Renato short, Verratti short. So Fabian Ruiz will add something that we currently don't have in that midfield. Market value is 55 million. I will get onto it later on. His strength is our passing, goal scoring, and progressive passes. So what we can see here, it's a it's a diverse midfield Paris Saint-Germain have. If you look at the midfield Paris Saint-Germain had last season, Guy, Wijnaldum, Danilo, pretty much all of them are pretty much the same. They are pretty much the same as Renato, Verratti, Vitinha, and now Fabian Ruiz will add so many different things, especially if Paredes stays as well. We have so many different midfielders who can play in different circumstances, in different contexts. If we're winning a game, if we're losing a game, if we want to brag a goal, uh, if it's against a pressing team, if, if it's against a parking bus team. So it gives the manager so many options and makes us so hard to defend because these players can also come off the bench and create something different. So I like the diversity we have in our midfield. Verratti different from Renato, Renato different from Vitinha, Vitinha different from Fabian Ruiz and on and on and on. So this is how we can actually line up. I mean, Fabian Ruiz is left-footed, so but he can also play on the right as a, a two pivot and a three man midfield. So Fabian Ruiz, we can see him alongside Verratti, alongside Renato, alongside Vitinha, uh, both on the left and the right side, which is which is really helpful. Which is really helpful. And as I said, what he adds is his height and his passing ability. And uh, yeah, offensively, this guy can bag goals. And as I said before. Look at this upgrade. <laughs> we went from Guy Wijnaldum Danilo to Vitinha Renato Fabian Ruiz. What an upgrade. And as I said before, the diversity. All of these midfielders were pretty much the same kind of players. A bit defensive, pressing, mobile, thingy this. But Renato, Vitinha and Fabian Ruiz, so, so different from these kinds of players and from each other. And uh, We can take a look at Fabian Ruiz's stats. Uh, uh, compared to Marco Verratti, we can see the, the differences defensively. Verratti is, of course, a bit better and better, of course, than dribbles. He isn't that... Or maybe Fabio Ruiz just doesn't dribble that much, but Verratti clear in that prospect. But if you look at the offensive, Fabio Ruiz will get goals and assists, which Verratti don't, doesn't do. So we can see the difference there. Yeah, again, with Ruiz, a bit similar to Renato Sanchez, more offensive than Verratti, but Ruiz can bring other stuff that Renato cannot. But if we look at uh, Fabio Ruiz, his progressive passes, progressive carries, really good. Really good, really good. I mean... Of course, alongside Verratti, that's also amazing. But as I said, th that's one problem PSG had last season, which was progressive passes and progressive carries from our midfielders. And now all of our midfielders are crazy good at that. Uh, Fabio Ruiz comes to PSG only winning. He has only won three trophies in his career. One Coppa Italia and this trophy with Spain, under nine, under 21, I think. So Fabian Ruiz comes here, even though he's 26, he hasn't accomplished nearly anything in his career so far. So he comes here with motivation, with hunger and willingness to perform and willingness to, because he knows that he's not going to start every game at Paris Saint-Germain, but he knows that this is a step uh, for the future for him. It's a big club. It's a big step for him. And he can achieve and win trophies at this club, which he hasn't achieved at Napoli before. So this, from his mental standpoint of view, this is a very good move for him, a very good signing for Paris Saint-Germain because we're getting a player who wants to play for us and who wants to achieve gold with us. Yeah, again, we have to appreciate Lewis, Mr. Lewis, Lewis, Mr. Lewis, Campos, Mr. Campos. Luis Campos, what a man, what a G, what a legend.
What a legend. Because as I said, this market value, Fabio Ruiz is 55 million. And we're going for 25. And that's mostly because of his contract situation at Napoli. Luis Campos just took care of that. And every report that came out on the night, it is said that Campos has been working on this file for weeks now. So Campos was just under the radar, John Cena stuff, just under the radar fixing this. And now it's done. Because, well, it was said that next summer when he was out of his contract, a lot of clubs would be interested and a lot of clubs were preparing to start negotiation with him. So he leaves Napoli on a free next summer. But Campos was just ahead of everyone. And what a, what a move. What a signing. Big ups to Mr. Luis Campos. And the last thing is, as the signing with Renato Sanchez, as the signing with Vitinha, it gives more attacking fluidity to Messi and Neymar. They can create more. They can be more dangerous, closer to the goal. Because Fabio Ruiz, Renato, Vitinha, Verratti will all progress the ball forwardly. And as I said, which Fabio Ruiz is really good at with dribbling or uh, with passing. But that was it from the Fabian Ruiz player profile and why Paris Saint-Germain signed this player for 25 million, even though his market value 55 million for a 26-year-old. That's amazing business. But other than that, make sure to have a nice day. Subscribe to the PSG and YouTube channel. Like this video if you thought it was informative enough. And make sure to put on notifications. And don't forget, as usual, allez, allez, allez Paris!